It was the home of the BBC for more than 30 years, where drama so series such as uh, All Creatures Great and Small, Poldark, Two Gardeners World, Top Gear and Pebble Mill at One were made. Actors, pop stars, politicians and even royalty visited the studios in South Birmingham throughout the 70s, 80s and 90s. Today, more than 16 years after the buildings were demolished, a blue plaque was revealed to mark the broadcasting legacy. Rebecca Wood reports. For years, Pebble Mill was at the forefront of British broadcasting, the home of the BBC in the Midlands. Some of the biggest stars were spotted wandering the halls. It was also once the home of the world's longest running drama, The Archers. 1979 I joined the programme, auditioned here, and that was 42 years ago. I was asked if I was free for six months, and I thought, six months of work, that's great. You know, and I say that was 42 years ago, and I'm it's still here. <laughs> but in 2004, the Archers, along with the rest of the BBC, moved out and the building was eventually demolished. Although it's got a new role now, its former glory has been officially marked today with a blue plaque. I'd like now, if I may, to unveil this very special plaque to an institution. So here we go. Here is this new plaque. It might look different, but those in the know will spot some of the original landmarks. This tree was here, this tree obviously has been here a long, long time. And I've stood under that tree uh, doing you know, television links in my time many times. Um, and you know, over there where there's a wall now, that was a huge, huge glass foyer. Glass foyer. So behind it, Pebble Mill at One used to take place. For those like Nick who worked at Pebble Mill, it's important it's remembered. It's fantastic that it's been recognised for what it was because it was an innovation. Everything we did here was had never been done before. Pebble Mill was, of course, the original home of daytime telly, and some of the biggest shows on television were made and broadcast from right here. It was a pioneering site. Now it is the biggest rehabilitation unit in the country. Paul was the first patient through the doors. I used to watch Pebble Mill when I was a child, so you know, coming onto this site, it was quite sort of nostalgic. But to see this building here, I mean, it's fab fabulous. The dramas, the celebrities and the huge live broadcasts may have all gone, but Pebble Mill's legacy lives on. Rebecca Wood, BBC Midlands Today, Pebble Mill.